All right, guys, we're back with another tutorial. I wanted, remember, I we had built the tutorial over here. As you can see, I built that out. I need to reassign my bed, and I'll show you why. So this is built out. Now, the only thing I changed over here was I made this bigger. I needed more storage space for now. Uh, but calling this uh, the Rebel Villager Castle... I was in the process of moving this, and then I'm like, you know what? I need a place for my villagers. I was not, I don't plan on keeping these shacks. I did do this over here when I first started. Remember Dizzle's, uh, Dizzle's shack starter shack from when we restarted a, our, one of our survival worlds. So I came up with that really quick when I first started playing this, but then I'm like, you know what? Once I unlock castle, I'm like, let's go castle. We haven't done anything castle yet. And that's when we came up with that. And now I'm doing this. This will hold up to um, eight villagers. I know there's seven in this. Uh, I got this to 10. But I have all seven here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I was like, you know what? We need to fix this. Yizzle usually does those little, um, like these little um, huts or shacks whatever i didn't want to do that this time so i took that and this is let's see where's that at this is when i realized that we had i started unlocking castle pieces this right here and kind of combined them together i didn't build that i like like by blueprint wise i just kind of kept opening it up and looking at it trying to see how what I, needed, what I wanted to use, but the process of uh, combining these, again, we made some rooms. So we have one room here. And eventually I'm gonna take those beds down, guys. At the end of this tutorial, we'll take the beds down and then we'll have them assign beds in here. Here's another one in here. So this is two, there's three, this is four. There's plenty of storage, guys. This is storage in here. And then these little uh, shelving is storage too. I thought I'd break it up a little bit and stack them just to make it a little bit more decorative. Uh, back with the uh, little bit of the uh, command center. That's what Dizzle's calling these. <laughs> and this one houses three. So that was what? One, two, three, four. So there's just five. One here. Six. Seven. Again, storage. Place to sit. And you didn't have to use this for villagers, guys. If you wanted to use machines in here, you can. Again, I wanted to use it for villagers time. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to get away from building those uh, those shacks, what Dizzle's call them. Here's, here's the eighth one. And then you can go all the way around up here. And I brought the command centers again up here. This is like a little server room is what I'm calling this. And then you can walk all the way around. Thought that was pretty cool. Again, taking that blueprint and then Dizzle's uh, rebel starter camp and combining those to make uh to make this i came up with a wall you know if those have been following me for a while i usually try to come up with my own fence or wall uh, this is what i came up with i'll show you how to make that as well i like how it gives it the depth it pops out a little bit with the lights it looks really cool at night if you uh actually we can probably see a little bit now let's take this off the illuminator yeah look at that nice glow you get the blue glow in here get a little bit of the red glow in here we walk around and then uh, we'll wait for fresh daylight, guys, and we'll get this tutorial started. I'll put um, markers for you guys so you can pause it where you need to. Or if you're just looking at this for inspiration or not inspiration, uh, we'll get started. We get some fresh daylight. We're going to build it right here. Uh, I was waiting to clear this out. That's why I haven't uh, put this out earlier. I was going to, but then I needed to clear this. I needed to go do all this stuff in here. Um, so that's all done. We're we're ten now. We're this is maxed out. Now I can uh, focus on uh, building out our uh, rebel outpost. This will have some ideas. So we'll be back. Fresh daylight. All right, let's start with the floor, guys. One, two, building parts, floors. We are using castle wide floor number two still. You can use whatever you want, guys. Whatever you think looks best for your build. We're gonna put uh, two of those right next to each other. Same, same as the uh, the uh, courtyard over there. It's the same, same size. Okay. 
Then castle, thin floor number five. Right up against that, and then right up against that, so you get that corner there. And then we're gonna use 12 by two by one. And a 12 by two by one. Well, let's put in this one first. Six by two by one. Oh, about to rain. A 12 by two by one here. Then the uh, six by two by one here. Okay. There is your courtyard floor. We'll wait for some uh, fresh daylight, guys, and then we'll be right back. We have some daylight, but the sun's about to set, but we'll keep going. Uh, we're going to go into floors. You can grab uh, this castle piece, 6 by 2 by one You're going to remove this, so just putting it in there for a marker. You're going to go into walls now. And you're going to grab, we're looking for castle wall number 2. Same as, again, the, as we, we did the other tower. Put one of those, and then you go down to the bottom. Mine's at the bottom. I think yours is too. You can put the doors. You can put either one of these guys. I think I use this one only here, and then the rest I use the other one. Go back in your favorites, castle wall number two right next to it. And you can take this out now. And the left side, on the walls, castle wall number uh, one. Put that too high. Actually, let's go back here after you do that. Go back in your favorites. Castle wall number two. You can those are gonna be stacked too high on this one as well. Okay. Come down to you find this piece, Rebel Castle Wall with the uh, emblem. And then you can put that on top. And here. Are you gonna go back in the walls? I have mine in my favorites, but I'll go down the walls for you. You're looking for this piece right here, the two by twelve by twelve. You're gonna put that on the bottom, because this is gonna be a room here. Then up top. Of that one, you could put the the door for the walkway that we, that I showed you. Okay, and then go back in your favorites. Should be there. Castle wall number two. You're gonna put two of those next to each other. Then the back side of the first tower, we're gonna go. And this is wall number two. I put that one first. Or I'm sorry, window number two. Rebel castle window number two, and then the rebel castle number one up top. And then we're going to do the same thing on, on the other side that we did here. All right. Actually, no. We actually, we can make it look a little bit different. Let's go with... Um, scroll up. I, think I did this on mine. Look for Rebel Castle Corner. All right. Fix my mistake. Uh, let's see. Can then you come grab Castle Wall number one? Then you can go grab your door. Actually, will it fit? Yeah, it will. I guess you gotta turn it the other way. Make sure the uh, those notches are facing the inside. See them there. All right, then it's gonna be a castle wall number one that goes right next to it. Then on the bottom, if it, it should be in your favorites, uh, castle wall number five again. And then a castle wall number one. All right, sorry about that. Daylight or uh, darkness or uh, night came. Darkness. <laughs> night came and uh, was not able to finish this. So let's finish the uh, middle tower. Uh, I, I've been using the nightly guys, and I'll show you why in a minute. I don't know why I'm drawing a blink here. You're going to go half walls. Uh, the nightly, the, the majestic manor, doesn't have a single piece. So if you don't have nightly, you might have to go with this type of rooftop on your towers. I forgot to mention that on that. And then uh, it's uh, nightly uh, two by 16 by six, same as the uh, rebel starter camp. It should fit right in the middle of each one, guys. Okay. Let's do the floors really quick. It's gonna be the castle wide floor again, guys. The 16 16 by one, the one that we use to do the courtyard. It should fit right in there. 
And then I'm gonna grab some stairs just to make sure this fits right. I'm gonna put it right up against that. Get inside. Should go right on top of those uh those notches right there. There you go. Okay. There's your floor on the top and the bottom. Uh the roof, uh we can put it in. We can put the roof in now as well. You just gotta get it on top of those. I'll show you what I did. I put the antennas up top. I'll show you how I did that. I did it already, that's why. Okay. Okay, so there's your middle tower. Should look like this. Let's do the courtyard's uh, walls. You're gonna grab castle wall number two. This is gonna be castle wall number one. You can go with three of those next to each other. Okay. So it should look like that. All right, let's start with the start with the right side. We'll do the uh we'll do the right tower next. Okay, you're gonna come back into your favorites, castle wall number one. And this is where I was talking about the doors, guys. You can do the uh go on the walls. And I think for the rest of the doors I used was this one. Just make sure. The inside, those notches at the inside, those are facing in. Okay. You go in the walls. If it's in your favorites, you're looking for castle wall number two. If not, go into your walls and find that piece. Okay, then up top, you're gonna go with the single on the corner. The reason why we're doing a single, not a double like we did in the bottom is because now we're gonna go back with rebel castle wall number one. And this way, the window lines up with the door. Okay. All right, let's go to the front. You're gonna come with Castle wall number two, you can do that twice. And then a castle wall number one. All right, then up top, you're gonna go back down the windows. You're gonna go into walls and then windows. And then you're looking for a two by eight by 12 majestic manners. And if it's in your favorites, uh, uh, rebel castle arch door number one. It's gonna go next to that. walls and you're looking for corner I faced it so those tubes are facing out okay there's your top part uh the next we're gonna put in the stairs this will this will help finish this wall off right here we're going to stairs again uh let me use I'll let you see how this looks I took it out because it started to look too busy so you want it to where you have one, two, three steps visible facing this direction, okay? So again, if you look this way, one, two, three steps visible. And then here in front for the floor to finish that off. That is the castle floor number five. See, now that wall is uh, complete. All right, then you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the eighth step, we're gonna put the corner piece. Let's see if it's in there. Uh, castle wall number one. Put that in and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, we're, we're good. And then I used uh, the circle piece, the circle window wall. Go into your walls, windows. Okay. And go into your favorites. If it's still there, you're looking for a corner piece. Now you should be lined up this if you're not lined up then you did something wrong <laughs> go back and uh, rewind it and watch those steps and then here i use a little bit and in, in the blueprint they use they started to use the windows um sort of use these a single one and i did i actually like that breaking up a little bit of the uh the look that's why i said i took these stairs out it started to look too busy but again it's entirely up to you that's a preference Put one of those, and then if you want to continue that up, see if it's in your favorites. Put another one of those, okay? So we should look like this. All right, going to your single, you're looking for castle wall number one. You put two of those. All right, let's finish this off because 
fight's about to happen really quick here. Going on to Windows. Are you looking for the Rebel Castle? Uh, again, this is number... Well, I use number two first. And then I use number one up top. Okay. All right, on the back side of this uh, tower number two, guys, you're going to... Let's finish the top part. Let's go into uh, walls. Actually, go into, go into your favorites. No, it's not there. So go into walls. If it's not there, we're looking for the uh, the door. Let's see if it'll snap to it. Does not. Just make sure it's flush with the top. You might need to get on a ladder with this if you can't see it. It should look like that. Okay. It's already lining up with the other door on the other side. This is we're, we're going to be end up making the walk around after we do this. Okay. You're going to go back into your walls. Okay. You're looking for castle wall number four. And that's going to should go next. So let's see if that snaps. Okay. It does. Good. And if it's in your favorite guys, castle wall number one, the two by two by 12. And it should finish this off. Okay. Let's do the top really quick. Back down the walls, half walls. Again, Dizzle is using the nightly for this. I just like the way it looks. And if you don't have this unlock, then you are going to have to go with the regular castle surroundings. All right, and then now we can grab the two by 16 uh, by six. Again, you can see there's one spot. That's that's the single piece. The castle one does not have that. That's why I don't, I'm not using it. Again, plus I like the way this looks better. Uh, there's the single right there, the two by four by six. That's gonna fill in this, piece, this space right here. Now there are your two towers. Oh, actually, whoa. This didn't finish this. Okay. All right. Now there are your two towers now. Looks like it's going to rain again on us. All right. We'll wait for this rain to stop and then we'll come back and we'll do this. Uh, we'll do this corner next right here. This back corner. All right. It didn't rain. So I'm just going to try and see if we can finish this off. So you're going to go back in the wall. You go down to windows. And then I now use castle window number three. And then I'm looking for a rebel castle corner. I use castle corner. Uh, you can face it either way that you want, guys. And then here you could use, uh, I'll show you in just a second. You can use either one of these. I actually use, I use them both. Put one here. Make sure it's up against the corner piece. And go back into your windows, down the walls and the windows. And I use a single. And then back in the wall, let's see, which one did I use? I use that one, okay. Then I'll use the other one here. Okay, and it should fit. And there you go, you have your, you need something really quick. So you have your, your right side of the back wall, the right side, front of the stairs, and your two towers. Okay, and we'll do the left side next. We're almost done, guys, and then we'll do the floors last. All right, let's finish the left side now. Once you go into walls, you're looking for, uh, not nightly, we're really looking for castle. Castle wall number two. And you're going to put it, so you round off, or you not round off, but so you make the corner right here. So we have one, oh, it looks like it's only a single piece showing right there, okay? And it should line you up with the doors. And you go down the doors. And then you, now you can grab the actual uh, castle wall number one. Back in the walls. Look for your rebel castle corner. All right, so that's done. Door should line up. Let's go to the front. Go down the windows. You could use either one here. Uh, I'm actually using this one on mine. You go back into corners. Should be in your favorites. Okay. 
Should look like this. Okay, let's go this way now. I have a single. Go back in the walls. Again, guys, anywhere you want to switch some of these pieces up, just make sure they're the same size. Uh, you can use either one of these. If I have the double, yeah, you go to the castle wall number two. And I use the window again. And then, yep, looks like it's lining up. Then you should be able to use your corner. You can use, face it either way you, any way that you want. All right, let's finish the back side. So I have a single. And I'm just going to use what's in my favorites, but you could use either one of those. And a single again. And this one you're going to have to go back if but go back in the walls, go down the windows. And we're using this the castle window uh let's see what the, what is that? Castle window number one, tiny. It's the single one. Remember, we use the single and the double. Okay, so now all our walls are done all the way around. We got our towers. All right, inside here, go with the single. Make sure it's lined up with this, though. And then this door, and then a single. Okay, now everything's done except this front. We'll do that last, a little bit more intricate. All right, let's go with the floor. Looking for castle Y floor number two, 16 by 16 by one. It should fit, guys. See, one there, one there. We'll go up top on the stairs and do that. And then here. Castle wide. One. Or eight by eight by one. That's number five. I should finish that off right there. Okay. And on this side. Sign in your favorites. Uh, let's see, we want, yeah, Castle Wife, floor number two. Should go right next to each other. And then one coming out from the, the door. All right, then you're gonna go with a 16, 16 by two by one. Then eight by four by one. Two of those. Then a 10 by two by one. Then here, let's see, this this gonna be no too short or too long. Uh, 12 by two by one. Six by two by one. I have to mess around with these pieces a little. I had to a few times. And 16 by 2 by 1. Oops, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And that's a 10 by 2 by 1. Okay. And there's your... Oh, we have all our uh, bottom floors done. Go up top to the stairs. That's an 8 by 8 by 1. It's an eight by two by one. And then we'll wait for uh, some fresh daylight and we'll finish the top top part. All right, let's finish off this floor. It should go by pretty quick. Uh, let's see, what do I have in there? I don't have it in my favorites. All right, you go to floors. Looking for castle wide, floor number two, 16 by 16 by one. And we should fit, there it goes. Wait till you get the green. Have it in here. 
yeah, 16 by two by one. You can fit two of those right next to each other. This room is done. And then go back to your 16 by 16 by one. You're gonna make sure you're on top of the, uh, there you go. Make sure you're on top of those, uh, these connect, these uh, floor pieces right there for the second floor. You should have two notches going all the way around. All right. And we should be able to fit another one next, right next to it. Yep. That one we already did. This one, the same thing. Just make sure you are on top of those notches. Let me eat really quick. Okay. Grab it again. This should fit right on top because it's same size as the bottom. Good there. And then eight by eight by one, same as the bottom. Uh, I do put one here because this is what we walk on up top. And as far as this part goes, guys, all the way around now, these remaining open space here, I'm gonna leave that up to you, but I'll show you how what I what I did. Cause you can mix and match these. It's, it's gonna come down to a preference choice. There's Imperial as well. You, you can guess mix it up if you wanted to. Now that we have have those unlocked. Put a little bit of the uh, the black in there. Uh, but it's basically some of those pieces and these right here, the castle pieces, the battlements, okay? Those are what you're gonna wanna put up top. Okay, but when you do it though, if you're gonna do it up top, make sure the red is facing out like that because otherwise it won't let you. See how it's, it's turning red? Because those pieces are getting in, there's a uh, little texture pieces that are getting in the way. So just make sure you, uh, you're facing it the right way. Okay. Again, mix and match these however you want. Oh, uh, let's see. We'll go with this. And then it's just a matter of finding the right size. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that off all the way around, including right here. Let's see, that was this piece. This piece and then a corner piece. Okay. All right. I'm going to finish this off and then we come back. We'll uh, work on the uh, fence. All right, guys. So this wall that we're doing, I'm going to go ahead and put, let's go in the walls. You're going to go down the half walls. There's some steps that you got to do to get this to work. So you put, let's put down a castle half wall, like right here where the uh, courtyard floor, floor starts. And then there's two lines on, on the, from the bottom. There's, let me see if I can get it to, um, you might, you may not be able to see it on the uh, recording, but you'll see it once you put it down. There's one there. I'm gonna move up just slightly. And there's one right where I'm at, okay? So then you're gonna put one down and then you're able to, to do that, okay? And then I'm gonna repeat that since it's there, see if I can snap to it again. I'm gonna repeat, repeat it three more times so let's move to Got one there, but you're gonna move over twice. So we're gonna have one there. One, two, and we're gonna have one there. Okay, so now we can get rid of this. Okay, and on top of that, you're gonna go into fences. And then I'm using this galactic uh, lodge for the uh, railing. And I'm facing it so the, I go this way, so the flat side is facing to the left when I'm when I'm on this side and then I face it the other way when I'm on the right. Put one each on top. I'm gonna show you just how you do this one. And then, and then you can finish this off yourself on this side, okay? Okay, and then once you have that done, guys, go back into your castle half wall and put one on top and then move it, nudge it over. Let's see if it's, uh, it's actually ready. Yeah, it's half a space out. I don't know if you can see it. You're gonna be using that as a guide, then go back in there again. And now you can grab Rebel Corner. And you should be able to snap from that now. And now you just line it up. Okay.
And then now it's entirely up to you as far as which lights you want to use. I tried these and these, but I actually ended up liking this the most. So, and then I just lined it up with that. You see the, how this little piece is sticking out right there? I lined it up with that. Okay. That's how that looks. And as far as how wide that is, guys, I believe that is going to be an eight by two by one. You can put that there. And again, you can go back. If it's in your favorites, put one of these up, up top and then nudge it so it's off a little bit. It's red, then right there. Then you go back in, grab your rebel corner, try and snap to that piece. There, snap to it. Now you can move it over. See how it's facing that direction because now we're making the turn i can get rid of that half walls and then if you can't snap to this again you're gonna have to do this same this step again guys you have to put this down right there and then you can put another one down once you get one it's easy to do the rest, and then you just count over from there. Okay, so then now you can grab your rebel corner again, snap to that. One there. One there. Move it over two. Move it over two. All right, you're just repeating this, guys. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and I'll meet you back. All right, guys, there you go. The wall is done. The whole structure is done, okay? This piece right here that we put in as far as the spacer to let you know how wide that was, you can leave that in. That's how it looks with it in. And this, the piece out over here, okay? Again, preference choice. And then the stairs, there's the plain stairs and there's the, the decorative, a little bit of the decorative stairs, okay? Outside of that, this is done, guys. The decoration I'll leave up to you. I did put in some machines here to break up some of the flatness here. Well, the trees in that space, so that actually kind of looks good, but I'm gonna be taking that down. I'm gonna be building something different there. Um, a machine over there, to, again, to break up the flat wall. Put some of the banners up. That's that's there's the that's just called the rebel banner, and there's the rebel round. I think I have on this side. Yeah, rebel round. There you go. Oh, it looks again from the back. Look kind of nice, actually, with this there, too. But I'm not going to keep it there. <laughs> I have other plans. I'll work on that next, and then I'll share that with you guys. So I hope that helps. Uh, holler if you have any questions, and uh, Dizzle will catch you in the next one.